Yes, hi. Are you there? Porfirio? Hello? Yes, hi. How are you, sir? Yes, this is me, Porfirio Pendaz. How, how are you, Mr. Congressman? Great. Thank you. Please, don't call me Mr. Congressman. Remember, I work for you. So, <laughs> It's a Mario. pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to meet you, and, and it's a pleasure to know that we're neighbors, because I also live in West Kendall. Oh, really? I'm not going to ask you to, to tell everybody on the phone where you live, but, but uh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I live here in Lakes of the Meadow. I'm going to be very brief. I just wanted to tell you two things really quick. One of them is that I'm, very, I'm impressed of the way people litter around here, that they have no concern and they just throw the cans and the bottles out of their cars. I've seen mothers throw the bags of McDonald's with everything inside in front of their kids and the cafe con leche and it's amazing and that did not happen in Miami I, I was I, I was I never saw these kind of things in Miami you know so I'm kind of aware I'm also very conscious regarding the environment I've been recycling for more than probably 10 or 15 years as far as I can remember and uh, I also wanted to let you know that my son is uh, into the skateboard sport with a whole bunch of kids in the community I would say that they're about probably 15 or 18 kids, they're 13 and 14 years old, they study 7th and 8th grade, and they're usually skating like in the back of the Publix in parking lots because people do not, you know, they, they do not let them skateboard in certain parts of the club and all that, and I was also wondering maybe there could be a possibility that you could be the first one to open a public skate park in Kendall. Well, I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate it. So it's, it's great to hear from you, and it's, it's great to hear from... Uh, Again, by the way, by the way, I happen to live really, really close, uh, close to you. Um, so, so you're a neighbor. You're right. Uh, look, good issues. I, I, I've, I've also seen that, and and it's really, really frustrating when you'll be driving down either a road or the highway, and you see people open the windows. And I've actually seen people stop in front of me in a red light, pull out their ashtray full of you know cigarette or whatever you know butt, and actually literally just throw it outside and just dump it outside their cars. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of those that sometimes will actually say, you know, excuse me, please, you know, that's, that's not, it, it, that doesn't just go away. Somebody's got to pick that up or it doesn't get picked up. And, and ultimately, as you know, in Florida, we, you know, we have such a delicate ecosystem that whatever you throw on the ground, we're going to be drinking that in, in, a, in a few years in our drinking water. So um, I agree with you, and it's, and it's frustrating. And obviously there are some good, um, pretty tough state and local laws that deal with that, and they are, uh, you know, I've seen some enforcement of that, particularly when I was in the state legislature. Now, as far as uh, the park, there, I, I, don't, I don't mean to pass the buck, but I guess I'm going to have to a little bit. Look, that's, that's really a local uh, day County issue. You'll recall that the voters were asked to vote on a, uh, I guess it was a, it was a bond issue for, for, among other things, parks, which passed. And, and I think that's a really good, good issue uh, to bring up uh, with our county commissioners. By the way, if you have a hard time getting through to our county commissioners, because again, that's unfortunately, or it's just not a federal issue. Obviously, you know, we, we don't do that from up here. But if you're having a hard time getting uh, through to our county commissioners or to anybody else, even don't think that because it's not something related to the federal government, that you can't call my office, which is your office, and we'll try to get you appointments. We'll try to, you know, facilitate the calls if for some reason you're having a hard time uh, getting through to whoever the appropriate local or state official it is. Or if you don't know if it's a local, state, or federal issue, also, just call us. And we'll try, you know, I've got, thank God I'm blessed with a really good staff. We'll try to make sure that, that we can get you to the right people who can give you the answers if it's, if it's not something um, that, I can, that I can do directly. So, again, I appreciate, uh, appreciate hearing from a really close uh, neighbor in this case because we're actually almost uh, next-door next door neighbors. Thanks again.